OK, we're going to try and catch the boys up now and have a chat to them while they're actually in situ on the river. Good evening, Ken. Hello there. So, we thought we'd come out and join you on the water. It seems uh, a bit more realistic. So, obviously, those, uh, those legs must be aching now as the, the veteran rower. <laughs> well, they're not getting any younger, that's for sure. But uh, at the moment, we're just having a light and uh, just getting warmed up before we do some work, you know. So how many nights will you actually train? Well, it depends. Um, in the winter, we'd probably train to get the level I'm after. We'd probably get something like five, five days. But when the competitive period comes along in the summer, you're looking at probably between eight and nine outings. Because there's a hell of a lot of fast cookies out there. And unless you sort of do that kind of training, you're not going to get up there. But, uh, you know, during the winter, it's, uh, it's more gymnasium and endurance stuff. But in the, uh, in the summer, you've got to get tempo and speed going and get used to rowing at high rates. So it varies throughout the year. Now, people at the club tell me you're very competitive, even though a lot of people would say uh, veteran status. That's going to be a good thing. Yeah, it's... Uh, there's several classes of veteran, and you're competing in your own age group. The, uh, the age group that I compete in, it's uh, G, which is around about 65 to 69. But uh, if things start going well, and we drop down into F, it's a bit younger. So there's always competition out there. What about the level of fitness? Yeah, it's, you've got to be pretty fit. Uh, it's, a, it's a funny thing, Rowan. It's, you've got to be delicate to move the boat along skillfully. But you've got to have the strength. And then there's a bit of a conflict, really. So. You know, you need the endurance, the technique and the strength to all come together. Thanks, Ken. We're going to try and catch up with Graham now. It seems to be going at a, a rapid rate of knots. Good evening okay. again, Graham. Good evening, David. So, uh, you went off at a rapid rate of knots there. Is that because you're a little bit younger? Um, probably. I just caught up myself, David. What sort of age did you actually start this uh, this rowing then? Oh, I started at the age of uh, well, 14 initially, and uh, I rode till I was about 27, and then uh, married and kids came along, so I gave it up, and uh, well, I got taught into it about the year 2000, and the rest is history really, and uh, I just enjoyed the sport. We spoke a little earlier about the boat. Um, just talk me through how you actually steer the thing, because I'm quite worried you've got your back to the pointy bit, and you don't know where you're going. Well, generally, after five or six strokes, just give a, a gentle look over your left or right shoulder, see where you are. You generally know what uh, shape the river takes, be local. Uh, but if I need to uh, manoeuvre it left or right, I just uh, squeeze on my left or right leg. And that generally does the trick. But, uh, I believe there's a, like a fin at the bottom of the boat, isn't there, that uh, obviously helps you with the steering, is there? Uh, yes, there, there is a, uh, what we call a fin, that keeps the boat stable. But uh, I don't really, uh, I just help with the steering, yes. So, obviously, there's youngsters coming through all the time. What advice would you give to the youngsters? Oh, it's, it's just a fantastic sport to get involved in. Uh, the obvious question, or answer, I should say, it keeps you off the street. But uh, we learn them as well how to row properly and uh, hopefully a little bit of discipline. Obviously, we spoke to Ken and uh, I mentioned level of fitness and so forth. 
Uh, it's amazing that we talk to you guys and uh, you don't actually seem out of breath. In fact, I think I do, really. So the level of fitness is important. But do you oh, get oh. many injuries? Oh, yes, yes, you do get injuries. I'm just getting over one myself. Uh, with a lot of rowers, you get a lot of back injuries. But uh, apart from that, uh, it's not, it's not too many. I believe here, obviously, in the Anaerobic Club, you've got six kilometres of uh, rowable water. Uh, uh, what sort of uh, typical distance would you cover in an evening? Oh, I would say definitely between 14k, I would say. Well, I don't think we're going to do 14k tonight. So, oh, thank uh, you. That's great. We'll, uh, we'll let you go. So I'll let you go with a burst of speed, Graham, and we'll catch you up a little later. OK, thank you. So, we managed to get ourselves back on to shore, uh, courtesy of uh, El Capitano here. Uh, thank you for that, Rob. No uh, worries. Obviously played a major part in uh, helping us tonight. You're the captain of the club, so, uh, you know, what's all that involve? Um, just really the running of the club, making sure we're going to events, uh, all the purchasing of equipment, and just making sure the coaches are around for all the different sessions that we run. I remember you telling me that this isn't a period of 12 months that you serve as captain. You've been, uh, well, shall we say, so impressive in your period. They've given you a five-year term so yeah, far. Yeah, this is my fifth year now. Just coming up to the end of it. So, yeah, yeah, it's, it's gone. It's gone well. I mean, this has been our most successful year ever. Really, we've had uh, 89 regatta wins this year and over 120 wins in the last 12-month period. It's been a real hive of activity. Membership's been. Um, I think we've got about 50% more members now than when I first started as captain and. We're taking two trailers to events now, which are ram packed, and uh, it's been really busy. Yeah. And what do you put this down to? Is it just popularity of the sport, or um, I your think, hard work, or a bit of everything? I think it's a bit of everything. We've had uh, a few more coaches join the club that have helped out with stuff. We've uh, started uh, a community pubs and clubs regatta this year, where we took uh, complete novices and took them to row over a four-week period. Uh, and then they all raced at the end of it, just along the straight here. Um, all sorts of different things and also we do like a free learn to row course which is for your first month when you come to the club we give it you for a month's free just to see if you like it and to try and get more people in through the door now this young man scott you're the youngest member of the club and you're how old again 12. 12 and you started at 11. so did you go through all this learn to row thing yeah yeah why have you sort of decided rowing instead of any other sport because I watched it on TV and I like like the look of it and I just really wanted to join them. That, that gives me uh, like money to come and then just carry it on. Maybe. And all the senior folk look after you, do they? Mhm. Mm yeah. Yeah. So you see yourself in five, ten years, really being a good competitor on the water. Hopefully, yeah. Yeah. Good. So you would encourage anybody else that you go to school with? Come on, get yourself down to Leander and row. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right, Mr. Captain. So, uh, what do they have to do if they want to join? If you want to join, just turn up. Normally, we do a learn to row course the first Sunday of the month. So uh, you come down about half past ten. We start off and we get you on the rowing machines, teach you the basics, and then as soon as we can, we get you out on the water. Um, like I say, the first month's free. We always try and get everyone out and make sure they enjoy it really before they join the club. And how much sort of money are we talking? Um, if you join the club, uh, it's £16 a month as an adult uh, and £90 a year as a junior, whatever that works out as per That's month. I can't think off the top of my head. Or you could log on to the website. Yeah, all the details are on the website, burntleander.co.uk. Super, and you can also loan equipment or you can get your ear knocked off by the girls going by here. That was <laughs> close, though. We're insured here, Rob. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Right, well, I think we're going to actually just have a wander around and get as much footage as, as we can of, of everybody having a good time, to be perfectly honest. So yeah, brilliant. Thank you very much indeed. Cheers. Thanks for coming down.